What's up guys, in this video I will share how I got monetized on YouTube after three rejections. So, let's start with brief story. My YouTube channel, this is my name, right? I uh, I didn't have any plan for it, plans for it, so I just opened this kind of YouTube channel well, like maybe 10 years ago, it was 2014, almost 10 years ago, right? 2014, I opened it just to watch YouTube videos and stuff like that. I didn't have any other plan plans but uh, here and there after a year two three four five uh, there were there were clips that I liked or videos that I liked and I uh, kind of uploaded them to this YouTube channel but those videos are were not mine I found it somewhere I, maybe sometimes I downloaded from YouTube and put it in the kind of my channel then uh, there was one really really good video that after two years it just start uh, going viral and I got subscribers and also watch hours you know that you have to have 1,000 subscriber and 4,000 watch hours in order to be qualified to monetize for to get YouTube monetized and then that video we'll talk about that video a little bit later and uh, that video got uh, more popular every single day and but I was qualified for YouTube monetization and at that time I also started doing uh, Uber black videos then I applied for to get YouTube monetized and uh, after two days they, they usually say that they will uh, answer it during one month I got my first rejection after a day or two the reason for rejection was reuse content and then they are understood they have do's and don'ts so basically means that you cannot actually use someone else's content if you didn't uh, make if you didn't make any changes so basically uh, all those videos that I use from other people they were copyright claim they were not copyright strike strike uh, is very bad for for the channel but claims it means that uh, it will not be monetized in specific countries maybe it will not be monetized at all but still it can be on your channel stuff like that then I thought okay and then I made a little bit of research and uh, it looks like from other people's comments that uh, you cannot use someone else's content if there there is a copyright claim uh, on your video it means that you cannot get monetized so the only thing that you can do is delete them and I started looking on my channel and it looks like I had like maybe five or seven videos that were copyright, copyright claim and I deleted every single of them except one except one that just went viral just wanted to kind of prove a theory should I delete all these the videos that have copyright claim or maybe I can leave one so I deleted all of them except one and I applied I applied and I got rejected again the same message reused content and also it was the exact uh, situation and then I, I, I understood that uh, I have to delete that video but why I didn't delete it in the first place because after after some time after two years actually it started going viral it just went bananas you can't even imagine one day my phone I just see that there are Russian comments okay 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 and then day after day they've been a lot more a lot more a lot more and uh, then I just paid attention to that video that I uploaded two years ago they just going freaking bananas and in one month let's say in two months I think around two months it went up to 700,000 views that's crazy and every single day there were like 2,000 views a day after it after the that heat was cooled down a little bit can you imagine that in two months it had from a couple thousand views to 700 more than 700 thousand views that's amazing that's freaking amazing I don't know how it happened but it happened all right and that's why I didn't want it to delete it because um, majority at that time majority of sub subscribers came from that video and also watch hours came from that video I had maybe I think around 266 thousand watch hours and that's why I was uh, I was able to qualify for uh, in the first place and uh, that's why I, I didn't want to delete that video specific video and there are a few things that you can do to uh, remove copyright copyright claim and the copyright claim for that video was that in, in two parts of that video it's small parts there was um, music 
that was copyright claim. After I couldn't get uh, approved for monetizations, what I did was try to trim it, to remove that part, but I couldn't do it because it's, it looks like uh, after 100,000 views, you cannot edit audio, you cannot trim it out, you, can you cannot basically do anything when it gets over 100,000 uh, views. So that's why I couldn't do anything. There was, there was something that really kind of uh, pushed me to delete that video. There were actually two. First, the first of them is that the video is in Russian language and my YouTube channel and every video that uh, I'm doing is in English. This is this bound. So you, you cannot uh, get viewers and su subscribers in Russian language who speak Russian language and then bum, you do uh, videos uh, in English. So that, that was the first one. The second one was that everything that I, every single video that I made after that, that were in English, I saw that subscribers are going down. Basically, their YouTube analytics that every sing, that after uh, uploading every single video, you can see that uh, you gain subscribers or you're losing subscribers. So in my case, I was losing subscribers like two, three, four, five, ten at the time. And, uh, that uh, really pushed me to kind of uh, decide to delete that video because it doesn't have any harm to me. First of all, it cannot be monetized at all because it has copyright copyright claim unless you remove it or trim it out. But I cannot do it online, right? And also subscribers are uh, unsubscribing because my content is not what they expect. It is in English, first of all. Yeah, after that, I decided, you know what? I will delete it. And uh, I deleted that uh, that video finally I took the trigger and I deleted and before I actually delete I also remember from research that I did uh, saying that if you delete a video all those watch hours will be removed from your channel so uh, I thought that I will delete it and uh, if my watch hours will not be removed then I will apply it again so what I did was I deleted that video and the watch hours stayed the same. And I was quite surprised. I'm like, come on, man. I checked it out in a few hours and the watch hours were still there. I'm like, come on, man, this is time to reapply. Uh, it looks like those research that I did were wrong because watch hours are there, they didn't disappear. And I reapplied and the next day, you guessed it. There were no watch hours. I mean, all of them were removed from my channel. And only I, I had, I think, only 1,300 something, 1,300 uh, something watch hours. And then, of course, the second time I also got rejected. But I understood that when I deleted and then after a few hours I reapplied again, um, all those information were not deleted. And uh, that's why they made decision based on those data that uh, was deleted, but it was not deleted the immediately. And then I started uh, doing, I mean, I continued doing Uber Black uh, videos in order to, to, to get to 4,000 watch hours. So after, uh, after third rejection, it took me three months from being 1,300 something uh, watch hours to go to 4,000 watch hours. When I did it, it was on uh, June 21 and I applied the fourth time. I didn't have any copyright claim and I reached 4,000 views and I applied it. And you guessed it, after one day, I got approved. And I was happiest, uh, the happiest man on the planet because I've been trying hard to get uh, YouTube monetized, but it just didn't happen for three, three times. So let's break it down how it was. So the first time I didn't have uh, any freaking idea how it works and I just applied. Uh, I got rejected the first time saying that copyright claim. I deleted all the copyright claim except one and I applied again. This was the second time that I applied and I got rejected again. So I uh, deleted that copyright claim video that went viral and I applied again and uh, I was rejected again because all those uh, data data were not removed immediately 
and then I waited three months and I kept, kept doing videos and I got uh, to 4,000 watch hours and I applied. The fourth time that I applied, I got approved. Finally, finally, finally. All right, guys, I hope that this video was valuable. If it was, please give it, give it a thumbs up. I hope that if you are trying to get monetized, you will get monetized. And uh, if you are just watching it out of curiosity, I hope that you enjoyed it and at least you learned something. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.